juga. But I got a job in the abroad. But then it's hard work, sha. Yeah. But still the work. Let me show you. Let's go. Okay, ma. I'm I'm not always this happy. I'm just happy today, and I'm fine today. The sunlight is sunning, so I like it. So yeah, but I'm not always this happy at all. In fact, most days I'm sad because it's hard work. But anyways, let's go. Okay, buckle up because it's not pretty. Like, <laughs> um, I'm just going to walk you through one of my shifts. I hated it. I still do. If I had to quit after one month, I didn't quit technically. They fired me. I was the new responsible staff. I actually wasn't. I just like seeing it because it was fun. And they've never asked me to not come back anywhere again. And that was what happened. So, what happened? Why did I leave? I had schoolwork and I told him I, I, I couldn't come in. And then he was like, oh, da 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 da. da. They ended somebody that that could always be present and i'm like he knew i was a master student before i took this job like oh sure end of that story sure i was like me going to sue me so i'm not coming back again and that was it but yeah see that bag of onions i'm going to have to slice everything like this like slice everything like this and split it into two peel it then thankfully i wasn't using my hand to chop it or ah oh, or more <sighs> Let's just thank God for life. I was peeling my hands, was peeling my hands, was peppering me. I cannot show weakness because I was in the kitchen and I was actually pretty excited to get a kitchen job because, you know, now like I like cooking and I enjoy like being in the kitchen. But when I was being in the kitchen and running your own kitchen business is a different thing entirely. I have run a food business before, but that was like really small scale and like cooking for large scale was really hectic. Although it did inspire me, I'm still going to do a food business. Like, hmm. Can, 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 can. My investors, if you can see this, you have money. I'm in the UK now, so Kimara raise funds. Honestly, like, uh, if you have money, you're looking to invest some more. Invest in me, I'm still going to do my food business. And trust me, trust me, I'm a more bad. I'll bring back the money, so don't worry. But yeah, it did inspire me to like still run my food business, but it was so stressful. You have to chop things. I was chopping this thing like my life depended on it literally. Then what is that even do? I was just chopping this cabbage, so just keep on watching me chop this cabbage for a while. Not my laptop beating heavy. I said that I'm not going to give you guys content today, so I don't have the patience to wait for it to calm down. Anyways, I was trying to make coats slow. You have to wear gloves. You have to like the whole sanitation thing was amazing. Like I actually learned a lot too. But I hated this. I was standing for eight hours, and with this with meal prep, I was doing the dishes. So the job role is actually a kitchen potter. I had searched and searched for like three months. I didn't get anything. And I was running low on cash and you know, it just felt weird to just be idle and not make like not be making money. You know, like it's quite frustrating. Like I don't know why we don't talk about it enough. Like when you leave and go to the abroad and go and do masters, except if you get a job straight up and you're getting money, that lack of cash inflow affects you. Like you feel very stressed, you're just there, no cash, nothing. You are broke, you want to buy clothes, you are overthinking. Mm -hmm. oh. It doesn't, it's not, it doesn't feel good. So this was like April and I went in January. I'd not gotten anything. I'd been applying to all the like corporate things. Like, cause I'm a PM now, I'm a bad bitch. So like I was applying to all the corporate things. I was applying, and I wanted, I didn't want to do care. Care is really stressful. Like I'm complaining about this one, but care is way, 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 way stressful than this. So I was like, okay, um, first this is the fridge. It was like a walk-in fridge. I was not scared that it's locking inside. But yeah, this is a walk-in fridge for the kitchen. It was a really big kitchen. It was like a fancy restaurant. So, um, what was I even saying? The lack of cash inflow really stresses you out. So, like, I was getting too stressed about, like, not having cash. So, I was like, okay, you know what? Let me just, um, what was the word? You know what? Let me just get, like, one of these jobs to keep body and soul together. Apparently, when I get something. And I'm glad to tell you that I still did not get something this time. I mean, I changed jobs. But it's like, I went from fire to fire. Because, really, the one that I'm even doing now is very stressful like oh he's like where i was job was like 
it's just very very stressful Sha. so that's one thing in glasgow like i don't know maybe i don't know i don't want to say there are not a lot of opportunities here but i think they are not it's just quite stressful to get like something decent because like, there's nothing i don't apply for internships like and the 20 hour working limit that you have as a student really really affects the time that you can get to work so like i couldn't i couldn't do all the normal jobs that i would have been able to get if i didn't have that 20 hours limit so that was really stressful for me but yeah i got this one the whole point of this is just that i hated it and some uh also for people that have been working and then they are coming as students it might be difficult for you to get something and as i said in my last video that if you have a job you should probably not quit it depending where you come like you can see busy now to get small small there and then converting into pounds and keeping body and soul together because not having a job at all would feel really somehow that you're not getting anything well, rejection like that's just the word rejection is plenty they will get to ask them like is it me is this me like it's me they're rejecting like this like hey god star girl star girl you are rejecting like this so the uh, point is sha this is my first job i was washing plates me that at home in fact if my sister see this they'll just be like eh it's like i can be washing plates somewhere <laughs> because i can't wash washing plates because like my sister i don't like washing plates at home i hate it but i mean it's washing machine but you still have to prep the plates like you wash the and um, this was me packing cutlery but you wash the pots the plates because some things will have stuck on it then like you're not putting the washing machine to wash and disinfect it so technically we're still washing the plate to be honest but they're saying oh uh, you use washing machine i beg you're still going to do a lot of the grub work and your nail your fingernails and your hands will soap and hair because it's hot water you have to use hot water all the time because you are trying to disinfect stuff so oh, if you're going to soap and hair even this day like this i was only able to make videos because it was a light day like i think i mentioned it at the end it was like a very casual day we didn't have like a lot of customers so i was just washing plates washing plates and we had to do the prep as well but during the weekend well, you can't even put your phone anywhere like you can't even show your phone at all you just have to keep working keep working for like eight hours sometimes you do 12 hours shift ah my body was pinning me kilo day anyway it's just helping me arrange the plates for a while and then i think uh, i was on closing shift so i'll just show you what i did on closing shift it's stressful but well it brings money in so yeah um yeah. okay so this is another task where you have to like clear the beans and the beans get so heavy oh my god also food waste in food industry is something that we don't talk about enough because like i like i i have a friend that runs like a uh a, a save the planet sort of um, things like climate activists yes that's the word and so i'm always mostly conscious about like oh litter and like you know food waste and all that jazz and honestly food waste in the industry is so bad because it's so bad that like the way i've chopped those onions in case we don't have like an influx of customers that are enough to eat those onions the 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 um, it's three days like the duration for anything that you've prepped is three days you can't use it past three days even if it's good and at the slightest contamination of course to be fair it's also because we're dealing with food yeah at the slightest contamination you have to throw it out so food waste is always massive i'm talking 10 kilos of like food waste like half eating food that people of course there's only other things that to do so like you have to just bin it it's always so ridiculously heavy and you know the oil that they used to cook as well like everything is just waste like that's just waste and then there's like separate category of food waste like when you trash the beans but like still they don't i don't know if they use processes to do anything else i don't know because i'm not i don't know but like the food waste is massive and i don't know how i want to tackle this as a society but food waste in the like retail industry is massive anyways i'm trying to close now because my shift was over i think it was after eight hours i was just changing the beans because you have to closing duty means like you have to clean everywhere make everywhere sparkling and neat for the people that are coming to open in the morning so um this is me just sweeping and 
Ja, das ist super gut. Okay, so I'm trying to um, mop, I think. I'm a full on out girl walk. If you like be laughing, cock on the shit, you laugh at me. <laughs> but yes, like it was full on out girl. Like uh, this year, yes, I bought the soap in this one. At least they had fine mop shot. And you, ha you had to use like a new mop for every shift. So that was also really nice in terms of hygiene. I actually did learn a lot to be honest. And like I said, I'm not even joking. If you have money to invest, invest in me. I'm going to run a food business. And it's going to be successful. I was just dancing because oh, this life now won, and you cannot come and kill yourself. But yeah, uh, I mopped. I think I FaceTimed my friends very well, and they were laughing at me. Honestly, really, you, I can never forget. Go up on the shoe. Really, I said that. <laughs> I'm saying this in a hard way. But really, I said that. Ah, Ghana to mono dragon, which means like even Ghana that can cook. I'm a colour for the UK. <laughs> I swear they were arresting me, it wasn't even funny, but yeah, I just smoked a bit as well, and yeah. So, one thing about me, anything I have to do, I put all my effort, so I would even do that they don't deserve it. I was still doing all the hard work. I was so exhausted. I think I was even fasting on this day. <laughs> oh God, God, I've been through things. I was actually multitasking massively because like I was working, I was doing school, I was like doing everything and I was still here. You would appreciate me enough. Anyways, 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 uh, this is me just still mopping. Like the kitchen is massive. I know like you can't see it fully from here. But it's actually quite massive, so I was just mopping everywhere because you have to mop everywhere clean. Like, we went to the last steps that you take, you have to like try to mop it when you're outside and then like just hang them up somewhere. I actually throw the mop away, mop head. We only use the stick, but the mop head that you used today before, you have to throw it away. Hope you're learning one or two things about how to manage the kitchen and like hygiene standards in the kitchen. But just a sidebar here yeah, if you're eating anything in an Igbo restaurant, just be praying to God that He will protect you. You get like, because things are happening in that place. Hygiene standards are okay, but for a black person, it feels like hmm, hmm. Okay, so this was me. Just I think I was breaking my fast. I was having dates and some water. So exhausted. Send phones. If you're watching this video, send phones. That's for like my PayPal or something. I send me money. Zero over ten, I will not recommend. Don't do this thing. See me. I got I saw suffer. Look at me. Ah it's a sofa. Zero over ten. I recommend one. The last part of actually closing is the fryers. So they have different fryers for different like things. So I had to like drain the oil. Like so far as for chips, for fish and I think for beef. So drain the oil and like soak the fire. So the person that is opening in the morning would wash the fire and then you are just like sanitizing and wiping everything down. <laughs> I say clean and self no do past this. Honestly. I don't never again do I don't think I can ever take a kitchen proper job. I was so exhausted like I was adjusted all the time and I was fasting, so it wasn't great to be honest. Okay, so I just finished. I'm supposed to um, change, but my heart's pretty close. I'm really tired. I had a very long day. So I'm just gonna go home. But that's like just inside. And today was a very slow day, actually. That's how I was able to make videos. Normally, I'm always like, for the dishes, wiping down dishes, putting down the dishes, immediately like they use them. And I'm like, getting stuff ready for them you know because it's like a really busy kitchen but today is a weekday so for some reason they don't have a lot of stuff so i was just making videos and i was doing everything else i needed to do anyways uh that is i don't even know what the end of this vlog is as i'm getting now but i'm just gonna say that's the first job i'm working here hmm. 
you people hey god i actually wanted to take time to talk about like my actual qualifications because i'm on a bad bitch i be you but you know the first time i came here i was so exhausted i was like i'm not going to come back here ever this that that never ever ever i'm not going to come back here this work is so hectic because it is hectic actually i think i showed the slightly aesthetic parts <laughs> like the really like slightly nicer parts but like it is really hectic sometimes i finish working i have like 15 k steps from like six hours it's so much work and you're lifting stuff all the time it's like i'm working out for like six hours literally but then like they paid me they paid me minimum wage but like they paid me the first money and then i'm like is it really that bad <laughs> You know, I was wallowing in self pity before. I was saying, ah, oh, hmm. So I quit my job, left Nigeria. So come and do this work. Eh? Eh? Actually, I don't even know when I'll post this because I still feel that way, sort of. Because it's like I was wallowing in self pity. I was saying, oh, girl, hey, I mean, no, hmm, and all of that. But like, they paid me money. I'm going to use it to buy stuff. And I'm like, it's not that bad. <laughs> they offered me extra shift one day like that. Me that I was making all the math in the world. I'm not going to come back. They offered me extra shift. Can you take up the shift? I said, yeah, sure. Because it's just nice. Cool money. Like, it's better than not having any income at all. I've not been working since I got here. It's really annoying. Okay, so... On a final note, uh, if anybody needs like an intern or like, uh, actually not an intern, I'm a PM. It's just that I don't usually make noise, but I'm a PMO, like I'm a product manager. I have a project management certification as well. Google certified baby. Uh, what else do I know? <laughs> My last job was as a business analyst. So if you guys have any openings or anything, you can recommend for your girl please do i don't mind nigerian jobs as well as long as they pay well i'll do it and then you can pay me and i can also fill the gap here because i don't want to have like a, i know i'm doing a master's so yeah it's a good thing but i also don't want to have like a year missing in my work experience so if anybody has anything they can offer me i'm begging you people now beg any beg please 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 don't let me be broke forever <laughs> So let me be broke forever. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Take care of yourself. Um, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share this to your friends that have the jobs. They'll subscribe to my channel as well and they will give me a job, please. I'm actually very smart. I'm a very smart person. Oh my God. Hey, I'm very smart too. So if you need me to do anything, side gigs, you know, like short-term contracts, I'm up. Sign me up. All right? Bye, guys. I'm so tired, I have to go. Bye. So...